So, what does it all mean? I... have no idea. What? Come on, you said talking to everyone would help us solve the case. Elsie could really do with a little less backseat detectiving right now. I'm sorry, I'm just all riled up. Well, howdy all you cool creatures. I'm Cryptid. Welcome to the Cryptid Plays YouTube channel. Today, we are continuing my time at Sandrock. Last time, if you recall, we kind of got to know a little bit about Fang's past more in depth. We also encountered Logan, who uh, blew up the water tower, and now we are on our way to proving his innocence. Um, if we can. Now, there's no real content warnings I need to provide for any of you, other than perhaps a flashing light warning, but if there are any flashing lights, I will put a warning up on the screen before that happens. So, with that out of the way, let's get started. Did you get Mion's letter? Never mind, it's a bit of a chore. Here, check out these puppies! All the photos from yesterday! Yep. I'd probably steer clear of that mailbox of yours for today, but, uh, even if you didn't and someone did write you a letter telling you to hold up on the investigation, you'd ignore it, wouldn't ya? Cause we made a promise to get to the bottom of all this, didn't we? Um, I guess. I still believe he's misunderstood, so, yeah. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to take these here photographs to the folk we talked about yesterday and find out what all they know. I take care of it myself, but to be honest, I can't rightly stand listening to half the folk around here for more than about a minute and a half, so the responsibility therefore lands squarely on you and your lonesome. Thank you, Elsie. I love to see you not taking initiative. With all this here evidence and whatnot, everybody will have no choice but to spill the beans about what they know. At least, I assume that's how it works. So, you ready? Yeah, I'm on it. Yeehaw! Knew I could count on you. Once we clear Logan's name, we'll be heroes. Maybe they'll hold a parade for us. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Elsie, I fear that that is not going to happen. I have a hunch they aren't going to give in that easily. I gotta get back to the ranch before my pa notices there ain't nobody keeping the yak mail company. Let's meet up at the blue moon once you've got the scoop. Sure. All right. Oh, also my, uh, whoa, whoa. Um, my, uh, W key is having some issues. So if my character moves slowly at all during certain points, that is why. All right, from Yan. Cryptid, as mentioned yesterday, we're tasked with reconstructing that water tower. She just gave me the diagrams. So here we go. Mion will be assigned the water main and the pump station. You get the holding tank, the tower support, and the filtration station. While I'm stuck with the unenviable position of supervisor, furthermore I saw fit that I, the president of Sandrock Commerce Guild, ought to share more words of wisdom and motivation. And had to make sure you realized how important it is to not screw up. Now, you know me, I'm pretty much the nicest fellow this side of the Ufala, but that Matilda, whoo, you don't want to get on her bad side. She cares a lot about this project, so believe me when I say it's in my best interest to give this one your all. Yes, in your best interest, Deanne, clearly. P.S. Don't wait, start now. Our reputation... <laughs> P.S. Don't wait, start now. My... Our reputation is at stake. Sure. From Elsie... Cryptid, alert, emergency, mayday, calling for backup. It's life or death, life or death for something. I can't live without, horse riding, my saddle is broke, and without my only source of therapy in this podunk town, I'm afraid it's only a matter of time before I waste away. Make me a new one, I'll pay ya. Okay. And me on. Dear Cryptid, yesterday I got so caught up in the whirlwind of excitement that is gumshootum that I failed to realize flashing those photos we took all over town could really get us in a lot of trouble. Not to worry, I've stored them safely at home while we think about the next step for our investigation. Keep in touch. We could get in trouble. I'm just gonna see what happens at this point. Ooh, tumbleweed standard. 
Dervish detonates indispensable dispenser of dehydrogen mono uh Oh, dihydrogen monooxygenase or whatever. Logan has returned. After some time of relative inactivity, Logan has attacked Sandrock directly, in a bold and egregious fashion. The timing of this attack is precise, and yet confusing. Does he aim to break our spirits in light of our recent success with the Shonash Bridge? Or perhaps he intends to cripple our economy by maintaining the image to the public that Sandrock is an unsafe place. It's likely that only the capture of Logan by Sandrock authorities will give us the answers we seek. When pressed for comment, Sheriff Justice had this to say on the matter. Yeah, he ain't my friend no more. Justice went on to say that he is in talks with City Hall to increase efforts towards the capture of Logan and his gang, and no doubt they will find a way to take action soon, reported by Heidi. Okay. Death of a Water Tower Had it been anywhere else, I would have said the rain had fallen in a torrential downpour, but Sandrock has taught me to treasure every drop, for here water is more precious than power stones. A blast. In a moment, my whole world shook. It is hard to put into words the abject terror that accompanies that cacophony of sound. What was happening? All I could see is dust and Dinas. Was I safe? I felt trapped in the middle of a war zone, the eye of a storm. The calm and frenzied arrived in equal measure. People screaming, begging for their lives. A lone tumbleweed softly bouncing. A child, lost and alone, cried for her mother. Debris floating peacefully in my sand tea. I saw the silhouette, then the galloping hooves. A train passed, and the whinny rang out like a shrill battle cry. Logan, the fearsome bandit, had struck again. Ernie's world. That's my man. Very, um, poetic, Ernie. I, I really don't like calling him Ernie. It just sounds like such a goofy nickname. Ernest is still kind of a goofy name, but slightly less so. Oh, hi. You're looking kind of serious. Is everything okay? I don't know. Is it? Oh, gosh. You want to know about that night? Well, let me think. Everything is a bit fuzzy for me. I was taking the late shift, helping out with patrols, making sure nobody snuck in to see old Howlett, who was being quarantined. It was a stressful time for all of us, but obviously Logan was affected the most. Sure enough, he showed up and the last thing I remember is me politely explaining to him that going into the temple right then was against the rules. That's sad though, his father was in quarantine. Admittedly, I love these little, like, comic book style pages. <laughs> Burgess is freaking adorable in that art. Oh, that's adorable. Then everything went black. <gasps> oh, he did it. When I woke up, everybody helped me to my feet and wanted to know what happened, but I didn't really see anything. It's all very sad. I can't help but think if Logan hadn't acted so irrationally, Perhaps his father would still be. I'm gonna stop you right there, Burgess. That is not fair. Don't you dare lay the blame on Logan for his father's death. Hmm. Huh. Some things are best not to dwell on. What happened happened. No one wanted it to be this way. Blaming anyone won't bring him back. I think the sooner Logan accepts that and takes responsibility for what he did, well, perhaps the sooner we can have him back in the flock. Mm-hmm. Maybe the reason no one's talked about this much since you've been here is we are all really sad about the way things turned out. Maybe some people also fear that it's something they did that drove Logan down this path. Logan will come back to the light one day. I'm sure of it. Just make sure to stay safe out there. And remember, we're all in this together, so don't hesitate to ask for help. Sure. All right, let's uh, let's cycle through. Oh, come on, my W key is giving me the issues. All right, 
Do I have anything to make any of these things? Okay, I need cast iron rod. Okay, I need to buy more steel or try and get more steel, whatever. All right, let's go question more folks. Oh yeah, we also have the sand of Palooza. Hey bit. there, hope the pressure's not getting to you too much. Hmm? You're trying to find out more information about Logan, huh? <laughs> well, ain't that cute? I guess. I'm afraid there ain't much more to know than what's already been known. But I suppose I wouldn't mind you proving me wrong on that. Mm, I think I'm going to avoid the photo for now and ask about the temple incident. Huh? So what if I did? What was I supposed to do? His mind was made up. If you had half a mind left at all, I'm afraid there ain't much more to know than what's already been known. But I suppose I wouldn't mind you proving me wrong on that. All right, the photo. What? Yeah, yeah, I made this equipment. So what? <laughs> I can't hardly be held responsible for everything that moves in and out of my shop now, can I? <laughs> what are you implying, huh? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not implying anything. You got a lot of nerve. I'm afraid there ain't much more to know than what's already been known. But I suppose I wouldn't mind you proving me wrong on that. See ya. I I'm very sorry, Hugo. I'm not accusing you of anything. Look, I was close with Howlett and Logan as well. What happened to that man was a gosh dang travesty. But that's just the way things are out here sometimes. All it takes is one slip up and you're gone. There. I always considered myself to be like an uncle to Logan. I would have taken him in. But I guess he didn't see it that way. I worry about what Logan might do. And I worry about how the more things escalate, the less likely I'm ever going to see that pup I used to know ever again. No, we'll... I hope that we can actually befriend him and kind of get him to chill out. But people do strange things when they're grieving. There ain't going to be an amicable settlement at the end of all this. So don't over-involve yourself. Be seeing ya don't like that everyone's like made up their mind and... oh right uh okay let me just kind of get my all right hey katori oh hey there here for the ceremony huh is no one else well, this is it. I paid an arm and a leg getting advertising all the way out to Atara. And this is the turnout. Logan, why couldn't he have blown up the water tower next week? Or better yet, uh, not at all? Yeah, I feel that. Well, on the bright side, since there's no one here, there's no one to see how miserable of a failure this is. I'm sorry, Katori. Thanks for coming out to show your support. I'm sure you've still got plenty to do after the attack. It means a lot. This ain't the end of the world, though. Maybe once the Civil Corps finally catch that no-good Nick, I'll paint the sleds a different color and rebrand the whole thing or something. If that's what you want to do. I even had this gift specially picked out for my first customer, and <laughs> I guess my first customer is you now, huh? Did I just get a camera? Heck yeah. Er, I guess technically Burgess was here first, but his beliefs wouldn't allow him to accept a relic. <laughs> here you go. Oh, speaking of Burgess, he wanted to talk to you. He feels responsible for getting the ball rolling on this thing, I guess. I mean, this is nobody's fault but Logan's, but I couldn't convince him otherwise. Catch you later. We'll get him next time. Alright. I... There we go. That's what I want. 
Well, this is going to make, um, <laughs> the expressions are a little, a little weird, but that's okay. This is going to make, uh, thumbnail pictures very, very much easier. Oh yeah. That's a good look. Anyhow. For now, I will, uh, do other things. But, nice to have a way to actually take good pictures of my character now. How many feathers am I holding up? Only... Temporary. It's okay, hon. We're all right. Sorry. <laughs> Let's ask about the uh, the temple attack. <laughs> no answer. No. Well, I was hoping that I, I really want to stop showing photos because I feel like we're going to get in massive trouble. But whatever, I guess. Hi, Jasmine. Hey, are you okay? Let's ask her about the incident. He told me right before the incident everything would be okay. He lied. Oh. Hey, are you okay? All right, I guess we have to show her the photo. Oh, <sighs> this. I never should have drew this. If I knew what was going to happen, I never would have. We used to go on lots of adventures. Then Logan changed. He didn't care about me or my mom or anybody. My mom said if things get better, we were going to rebuild a school in Sandrock. But things got worse because of Logan! Now I'm the only kid in town. I mean, Pebbles is around, but yeah. Hey, are you okay? He told me right before the incident, hey, are you okay? Logan used to be my friend, but now I hate him. Oh no. This is so sad. Alright, who else am I talking to? Howdy there! Any news to report on the water tower? Alright. Well, of course, I was there at the scene of it all, as were most of us. I came out after the explosion, but by the time I knew what was going on, Logan was long gone. Hmm. Howdy there! Any news to report on the water tower? All right. Goodness, now wherever did you find this? You know, you don't need to be sneaking around, acting all suspicious, if all you're after is information. Really? Yes, this makes sense. Although I must admit, this shows a level of organization from Logan I can't say I was aware he might be capable of. No doubt you started to put things together since your arrival, but perhaps you'd best hear the tale in its entirety to dispel any misconceptions you might have about the whole ordeal. Yes, actually. Not too long before you started living in Sand Rock, a great tragedy struck this town. Howlett, the monster hunter, and his son Logan, with whom you are already quite familiar with, ran into some trouble. Howlett, when diving in some ruins explicitly blocked off by the Civil Corps due to an abundance of unknown and dangerous substances. Sure enough, he became contaminated with something bizarre. Logan reacted rather wildly after Pastor Miguel quarantined his father inside the temple and refused to let Logan come in contact with him due to fears of contamination. He couldn't believe his father would be so careless as to come in contact with dangerous Age of Corruption concoctions. One night during the quarantine, Logan attacked the temple with bombs. 
I assume it was to free his father from the quarantine. Hmm. But whatever the case, Logan botched the operation and parts of the temple collapsed. Us church folk were all outside, but Logan's father was still in there where we'd left him, and when we found him down there, he was already gone. I see. Hmm. Logan blamed us church folk for what happened, and now he seems bent on some kind of revenge. And he'd sooner take down the whole town if it means getting to us, I reckon. Howdy there. Any news to report on the water tower? No news. See ya. I appreciate your concern on the matter, but I fear there's not much we can do but trust in the acumen of our civil corps to bring Logan to justice. Without hurting him too much, I hope. Try not to get discouraged. There are brighter days ahead. I'm sure of it. I'm... I don't know what to think of this. I mean, indirectly, it kind of would be his fault if that was the case, but I don't like the idea of blaming him for it. Hey, it's Skinny Arms. How can the Protector serve you today? Let's ask about his night. Ah, uh, of when Logan blew up the temple. Aha! Trying to track down that dastardly Logan, are you? <laughs> Good on you, Skinny. If you do find out where he is, <laughs> why not tell me first? Skip the civil corpse. Skip the paperwork, you know. Make sure Logan gets some real justice. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Hmm? No. I thought we were doing extrajudicial stuff already. It's not such a stretch from what you're doing now. Uh, fine. What do I know? Uh, let me think. Hmm. The night Logan attacked our temple, I was at home pumping iron. Yes, I believe I was trying to perfect a 300 kilogram clean and press with one finger. Uh, but my darn palmar interosseous muscle was acting up. Fascinating. As soon as I heard the explosion, I rushed out of my room to see Burgess knocked out. Uh, that's something I see all the time, but what really caught my attention was the exploded temple. I managed to catch a glimpse of Logan riding away with someone, but they were too far gone for me to pursue. Maybe it really is time for me to get a loyal steed to call my own. <laughs> nah, I'll just keep training to run faster. You do that, though I'm not sure you can run as fast as some kind of horse, but still. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to my story as much as I enjoyed telling it. Uh, say, skinny arms, you're a good listener. I'll have to tell you stories more often. Oh, no, 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 no. That's okay, Pen. How can the protector serve you today? All right, let's show him the photo. <laughs> What's that? Making bombs now, are we? Ha <laughs> ha, finally! You're getting into building cool stuff. I meant to say something to you about all those lame screws and boards and, uh... Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, now that you mention it, I believe I have seen these kinds of bombs before. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, it's coming back to me. Uh, that foul Logan's paramount compatriot used those kinds of bombs as his weapons of choice. Oh. A bit cowardly, if you ask me. If you don't have the guts to look someone in the eye as you punch them in the teeth, well... In my book, you shouldn't be fighting at all. Uh, that's actually kind of fair, but... <laughs> Still. Bombs are, te are usually used for destruction. Yeah, what do I know? Furthermore, these puny things would hardly scathe a indomitable chevalier such as myself. Hey, it's Skinny Arms. How can the Protector serve you today? Nothing. See ya. No more questions, hmm? I agree. There's a very good chance there's something around here that could aid in Logan's apprehension. Do let me know if you come up with anything good. Sure, will do, Pen. Not. I'm trying to hopefully 
prove his sort of innocence. Hello there! What stroke of luck has brought you my way? That night? When Logan attacked the temple? I'm afraid I didn't see anything. I was just at home going through my inventory. I found out about all the commotion later, just like everyone else. What stroke of luck has brought you my way? Oh boy, it seems my secret supplier has been revealed. Yes, yes, I told me Anne that those recipes were company secrets, which was true. Only Haru and myself are privy to such knowledge. What? I was the only one left around here who knew how to make that stuff. I'm supposed to just give away my recipes like that? Come now, I've got to pay the bills too, you know? No, I, I get it, I get it. But at least share one recipe. It's really so unpleasant what happened with Haru. Not only because I consider him a friend of mine, but also because of that great mind of his. Oh, that's sad. I kind of feel bad for Arvio, because if he and Haru were friends, that's just sad. He was always coming up with inventions and such. We had a really good deal. All the products he showed me how to make, I put up in my shop and we split the earnings. 50-50. Nice. I've even put aside what he'd be making. You know, if he ever comes back. I hope he does. I hope both him and Logan do. Whatever would a bright and unassuming fellow be doing with a barbarian like Logan anyway? I say there must be blackmail involved. Haru would never turn against us on a dime like this. Well, could it also be love? Actually, I found out that in an update that's coming up, we might actually be able to romance Logan, but it's going to be a ways away. Well, friend, now that you know how to make the stuff, uh, care to not stood it around too much? You got it. Hello there! What stroke of luck has brought you my way? I think it's great that you're looking into things. Haru can't be the villain they're making him out to be. He just can't be. I wish you luck in your investigations. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Thank you, Arvio. Oh yeah, but like the point of um, we might be able to romance Logan at some point probably means he and Haru are not the partners that I had been thinking they might have been, so... But that's okay, too. Alright, whom is up here? Oh. Miguel. Hmm. You're looking into the Logan incident, eh? Dreadful stuff. Quite displeased to see things turn out the way they did. Not to mention the fallout since. But it can't be helped. To be blunt, if Howlett had stayed out of the ruins we all know are too dangerous to explore, he'd still be alive. Yes, I made the decision to put Howlett under quarantine. Yes, it did enrage Logan and drive him to madness. But I did what was best for the town, and I'd do it again if I had to. Mm. It's not a pleasant tale, just like the state of our world, unfortunately. You make me uncomfortable, Miguel. It's... Oh no, I have such mixed feelings about that, but I also kind of have mixed feelings about the church in these games. Like, they seem to care about everyone, but at the same time, there certainly is an agenda there. And it makes me uncomfortable. Hey there! How you holding up? Let's ask him about that night. Yeah, not that night. But he came into the saloon that day with Haru, and they were acting real strange, uh, buying up a lot of supplies. It was later that I heard that they blew up the temple in an attempt to get Howlett out, and the old man died in the blast. <sighs> Frankly, even if Logan did manage to get Howlett out of quarantine, it would have endangered us all with the disease. Real sad story. Other than that, though, I'm afraid I don't know much of anything. Hey there! How you holding up? Uh, I'll show him the photo. Wow. Where'd you dig up an old relic like that? Ah, uh, yep, that's me in the background. But I can't say I remember too much about this day. Oh, people were always getting married in the blue moon back then. 
Logan's Ma. What was she like? I can barely remember her face if not for this photo. She skipped town not too long after Logan was born. It shocked everyone with that move. Hardly worth mentioning Logan's old man. Howlett took it the hardest. But you'd never have guessed it from this photo. <laughs> Looks like a match made in heaven. Except for the tear down the center, I guess. That's just really sad. God, Logan's life is full of tragedy, isn't it? When Howlett came back with the disease and was put in quarantine by the church, Logan really lost it. He started shouting for them to release his paw outside the temple door. Understandable, Howlett was all he had his whole life. <laughs> well, that's not completely true. I considered Logan a friend once. I really just hope he sees through all this madness and turns himself in. Then maybe the healing can begin. Hey there! How you holding up? Uh, I gotta go. So you're trying to find out more about Logan, huh? Yeah, I don't blame you. It's all pretty weird. Never heard of a decent fella going bad so quick like that. My hope through all of this is that nobody else gets hurt. Well, <laughs> good luck with whatever it is you're doing. And let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Thank you, Owen. That was informative. Oh. You did what? I did what I had to do. What you did was impulsive. And you put our friend in danger. I was coming up with a plan. All right, I reckon when you put it that way, I did what I had to do in order to get things done in a time frame that I could find satisfactory. Which is basically the same thing. Uh-huh. Look, here they are now. Everything went fine, right? Oh boy, um... I don't know if anyone suspects anything, but I was kind of nervous. Well, you didn't get in trouble, did ya? Regardless, Elsie, you pushed our friend to do something out of their comfort zone. I think you owe the Builder an apology. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm sorry. Sorry you're such a weenie. Thanks, I needed that, Elsie. Well, if you're safe, I guess there's no point in getting hung up on what's already happened. Can you guys just promise me that you'll be more careful in the future? Ain't y'all ever heard of all's well that ends well? Fortune favors the bold? Stupid is as stupid does? I thought y'all were into book learning. Oh, all right, fine. We promise. With that being said, spill the beans! What'd you find out? Not much. I see. Wow! So, what does it all mean? I... have no idea. What? Come on, you said talking to everyone would help us solve the case. Elsie could really do with a little less backseat detectiving right now. I'm sorry, I'm just all riled up. I think the best thing we can do for now is just wait until we have something else to go on. Thanks for doing all you did. Your summary on what you learned today was incisive and insightful. Yeah, you went out there and hit the streets like a real hard-boiled bad egg. In fact, that gives me an idea. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give you a surprise. No, no, not one of them's. A real surprise. <laughs> you just better ready. <laughs> I'm off. Uh, might want to double check your windows are locked tonight. Will do. Nothing more for us to do now. Better just get back to it. See ya. Well, that was a thing. Is Burgess still out here at this hour? Gotta know. Gotta find out. Looks like it. Hey, buddy. Hey there. Gosh, real shame about all this. It seems like this whole entertainment thing blew up in our faces, and it's all my fault. If I just hadn't bothered with that darn survey. Nah, don't worry about it. Well, I suppose one could blame Logan, as his antics did scare everyone away from the ceremony, 
but oh shucks, let's call it 50-50. What's more, I realized that my survey, which was intended to support the need for giving people in town a rest, actually ended up putting you builders back to work. Yeah, we're used to it. Well, I'm real sorry that things turned out like this. Foresight is not your strong suit. Miguel always says that about me. He's not wrong. <laughs> if it means anything, I did want to tell you that I think you did a really great job on the sand sled thing, even if nobody showed up. Aw, thank you. All the stuff you've been doing for Sandrock? Well, a lot of people appreciate it. We're all rooting for you. So, I saved up some money and got you a week-long pass to ride on Katori's sand sled game as many times as you want. I got one for Mion, too, since you guys have been working so hard lately. Well, have fun! Be careful, those sleds can get real speedy! That's gonna be fun. I don't wanna try it. Can I try it at this hour? Might be able to. Hold on. Let's try this. I want to. So much. Alright. That's the exit. Whoa, someone's actually working here at night. Hello. Uh, let's go to collection mode. There are two types of sand ring, race and collection. Okay. And I got some decent rewards. Cool. That was fun. Heck yeah. Alright. Let's uh let's actually head back home. Well, I think my builder ooh. Alright. Let me put in some uh Alright. Now I shall uh put my builder to sleep. Patty there. Rise and shine! Ready for your surprise? Oh no, I forgot all about this, okay. I just wanted to say, even though we didn't find much poking around Logan's old homestead, well, you believed when almost no one else did. But kind words ain't worth gills on a cat, so I did you one better and brought you this here baby Yakmel. His name is Doodles! But I reckon you can name him something else if you wanted, cause he ain't quite learned it yet. With Doodles, you could get started with your very own ranch. Wow, thanks. Hear that, Doodles? You found a new and loving home! Hooray! Yeehaw! Oh, but shucks. You ain't got a barn, do ya? You can't take care of any animals if you don't have a barn. Maybe you'd like for me to explain a thing or two about raising animals? Sure. If you want to raise small animals, you gotta come over to my ranch shop and choose what you like, either a calf or a chicken. Once you done bought it, it'll be delivered right away. But wait. You ain't built a barn yet? You know, different Oops. animals need all sorts of different places to live. Rabbits like a hutch, yak male need a barn. You gotta have the right home for them if you want them to live with you. If there's no barn, your yak male ain't gonna wanna come live with you. Just go see Haiti and get her to fix you up. You know, it was her construction junction that helped us build our stables. Oh, and when you get your little animals running about at home, remember to feed them their favorite food and play with them. If they're in a good mood, they'll grow up so quick and healthy. Well, I reckon that about sums it up. I better be getting gone. I'm sure you and Doodles are gonna be right as rain, and I just know you're gonna take real good care of him. Or else. Thank you. Um, hmm. Is, is he in my inventory? He is. Okay. Standard. All right, let's, uh... Sand running. Will it change the world? Experts say yes. The wheel, fire, the written word, automobiles, rockets, antimatter bombs, back to fire, then automobiles again, etc. These inventions rock the foundations of Earth, sending shockwaves and reverberations out from every direction of their inception, vibrating up into the bones of the humans above and below the surface. 
Innovation strikes the lightning from the heavens, granting mankind access to powers previously thought to be unthinkable. Man cannot help itself but fly closer to the sun, and as long as this innate desire burns inside us, we will continue to reach higher and higher with machinations such as these. Anyway, all that junk is just old oats compared to sand running. The fabulous new invention and pastime from Golden Goose Entertainment, that's taking the free lines by storm. Located in fabulous sand rock just a bit past the Shonash Canyon Bridge, people from all over are canceling plans, quitting their jobs, leaving their families, faking their own deaths to rush over to sand rock. All just to get a peek at the newest and wildest craze this side of the free cities and beyond. Hop on a sand runner today and race across the expansive dunes of the desert. What is it that is inspiring such a fervor amongst hip and happening folks of all ages? Some say it's the wind in their hair, others say it's the thrills and spills of high speed sledding, and others still mention it's for the desperate need to find acceptance among their peers. So what are you waiting for? Do whatever it takes to get to Sand Rock as soon as possible and try sand running today. Written by Katori, edited by Heidi, for publication in Eufaula, Atara, and surrounding territories. Neat. That's cute. If the town doesn't need me today, I think I might go get some materials. Or if I can, I might be too poor. But when can I go freaking meet Logan like properly? We've never even talked. Like everyone's like, oh, you know him, he's so scary. And it's like, well, personally, I've never actually spoken to him. I've seen him twice, we've locked eyes, but that's about it. Like, okay, so I feel like everyone has some pretty interesting preconceived notions about Logan. Like, I do think what he did was not good. And in fact, he shouldn't have done it. But at the same time, in some ways, it's starting to feel like they actually, um, we're trying to find a reason to dislike him, and I could be wrong, but that's just how it feels to me. And mail? Wait, why do I have mail at this hour? <gasps> From Nia! Oh my gosh. Cryptid, right? I think they're both really interesting jobs. I guess we're so similar the way we kind of got drawn to the same jobs. Anyway, your friend forever, Nia. Yay, I got some relationship points. That's awesome. Alright, time to put the builder to bed. Well, you know what? We sort of accomplished a lot, but I think I'm going to uh, end this here for today. I had a lot of fun. I'm hoping we get to actually meet Logan soon and see or hear his side of the story. I don't know what kind of character he is. I know a lot of people like him, but I have no idea what interactions with him are like. So thank you all for watching. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of me, but you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. By the time I put this out, I might actually be uploading three days a week, but at the moment, I'm still uploading Monday and Wednesday. So I also stream on Twitch on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Fridays are usually twice a month, but they have been known to me more. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.